YouTube. Um, had a couple requests about this um, uh, Torque app that I have on my phone, and um, thought I'd show you guys uh, how this thing works for a uh, Ford Power Stroke. Um, pretty basic. So you basically go on Amazon or any kind of website, and you need a uh, ODP2 um, uh, Elm 327. So these cost anywhere from about, uh, you know, from like uh, I've seen them as low as like seven to fifteen dollars. Um, this one costs about twelve bucks. But uh, so I'm just going to do a, show you a quick review on the sensors I use and how to set this thing up for Power Stroke. So I'm not going to show you how to install it. You just need to go to the uh, Android Play Store and uh, download it. You need to get the paid version, which costs about five bucks and. Uh, so the first thing I need, I need to do is figure out, connect it to the ODB or onboard diagnostics port 2. And as you can see, it's in there. And I'm going to go back up to the phone. And uh, I'm going to do my, my login so you don't see my key. And I'm going to, I'm trying to get this without a glare in it. But um, so I'm going to fire up this torque out when I give this car power so it's powered on right now like the key is powered on and I'm gonna fire up this torque app here and so, so to use this with the actual Ford power stroke um, okay I need to put the Bluetooth key in which is one two three four Sorry, I'm trying to get this thing focus in so it's one two three four that's the Bluetooth key and it's gonna connect to the system but uh, stock, it's not going to be able, if you just do the stock, it's not going to be able to read the uh, Ford Power Stroke uh, PIDs. So what you need to do down is go to settings. So you click on your, if you're an Android phone, click on this. And I'm going to go to settings. And you want to go to like, manage extra PIDs. And now you see, I, I already have the uh, Ford Power Stroke installed. But you do is you hit the left button key, the option key on your Android phone, and that's gonna give the option to add a predefined set of PIDs. Hit that, and see where it says you wanna choose Ford includes Power Stroke. I've already, I've already, uh, the glare kinda sucks right now, but um, just choose, choose the uh, Ford Power Stroke right there, and that will actually install the PIDs. And wait, zoom out here a little bit. And let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the uh, sensors. Hey, I'm gonna hit real time. And I don't have the engine running right now, but uh, I'll go through each of these. Uh, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm not gonna really show you on how to use torque. It's seriously basic and self explanatory, but I'll show you the sensors I use for power stroke. And, I think these are super important because, um, you know, this is going to tell you the internal health of the engine. So typically what I'm always worried about is uh, coolant, your coolant temperature and your engine oil temperature. So by comparing these two will give you the health of your, uh, your oil cooler. So if you have a more than a 16 degree difference, you know, then you have issues with your oil cooler or your oil, oil cooler is clogged. So, um, that's why like, I'm on the freeway, I keep an eye on it. So if I'm just cruising around town, there's usually a couple degree difference, but the most my truck gets is about eight degrees difference. Um, let me go down below. And then I have trans transmission uh, temp. And I have boost. And this is another thing for help troubleshooting. Uh, this helped me actually fix my other problem, which is the, uh, is the uh, Ficum voltage. So right now you can see, before this thing used to fluctuate a lot, and then also, like right after I would start the car up, it would actually have really low Ficum voltage. But uh, I replaced that in my other video. I replaced that module, and it's been perfect ever since. Um, then also another important one I think is, is the battery. So uh, right now, my car currently is has a hard start when cold or a long start. So I'm thinking it's the dummy plugs. But uh, one of the things that I also installed are these two gauges here in the bottom, and I'll tell you about that. It's uh, where it says HPOP, um, 
that is basically your ICP. That that's actually the high pressure oil pump, and that's going to give you the amount of pressure. Uh, really, it's just basically it's, it's the IP, I, ICP uh, sensor, and this other one is the IPR valve, and that is the actual the, the the valve that lets oil into the actual oil rails to control the fuel injector. So that's also going to tell you it's going to allow you to figure out if you have any uh, high pressure uh, leaks from dummy plugs or from your injectors or different spots but um, let me fire this thing up and I'll show you real quick what's what's up but you'll probably hear the long start real quick so let me uh, get this going so what's weird with my truck it's cold right now and it runs and it, it, it cranks over and then the pressure builds really, all of a sudden the pressure will build really fast so I'm thinking I might have a leak in one of my uh, oil rails um, and another interesting thing, interesting thing too is that um, I didn't have this problem until I changed over to synthetic oil so before I used to run 1540 uh, conventional and then once I moved over to synthetic 540 um, you know I started having this hard start issue so I'm thinking because it's thinner oil and also, you know, like the molecules are thinner in a synthetic oil that it allows more oil to leak past these uh, dummy plugs. So, I, I was suspecting dummy plugs or um, standpipes, but um, I'm probably going to end up tearing the engine down pretty soon in about, about a month or so. But yeah, as you can see, I have the coolant going. You know, boost level. So I'm trying to And that's the thickum voltage, battery voltage. Um, so right now, um, the high pressure oil pump ICP valve is, or ICP sensor is saying about 783. Um, when the engine warms up, it gets to about um, about 580, 560 to 590 somewhere in there. And my IPR valve is usually at about 22 percent. So. Um, if you actually have a pretty big oil leak, high pressure oil, oil, oil leak, the IPR valve, the percentage, uh, the duty cycle will be higher. So, um, like your IPR valve has to open up further to allow more oil in to keep the required oil pressure where it's supposed to be at. So, I don't know. Well, hopefully this helps somebody. Um, pretty cool. I mean, this is what I use to make sure this end is running right. I mean, I mean, I, next I want to get like a... Um, like an exhaust temperature gauge and uh, a fuel pressure gauge over here, so on the pillar, like a single gauge, uh, like a three-in-one gauge, but yeah, I mean, pretty cool. This thing is definitely, uh, like when I take this on a long trip, I always have this on there, and you know, I always want to look at my uh, the difference between my oil temperature and my, my coolant temperature to make sure I don't have a clogged uh, oil cooler, but um, cool app, man. It only costs five bucks. Well, that and the, uh, the Elm 327. So, I have probably about um, less than 20 bucks in this, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of other gauges too that you can do, and you can have different combinations and, you know, just different stuff. It, it, it's a pretty cool program, but um, cool, hopefully this helps out somebody. Let me know if you have any questions.